Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to explore cloud formation in AWS, and this will be a great video for absolute beginners. So right now I am inside my AWS console. So in order to use cloud formation, you just need to go to search bar and type cloud formation and click on that. And as you can see, CloudFormation is a model and provision all your cloud infrastructure. AWS CloudFormation provides a common language to describe and provision all the infrastructure resources in your environment in a safe and repeatable way. So in order to use CloudFormation, we need to create a stack. Let's click on that. And here we have uh, multiple options. We can either select template is ready or select a sample template or we can create a template in designer. So in this video, I'm going to select template is ready. So next we have a template source. We can either select Amazon S3 URL or we can upload the template file. So I want to select that. And then we need to select the choose file. And I want to choose ec2.yaml that I have just created. Let's click on open. So if you go to my GitHub link that I will paste in the video description, you will see this, um, the GitHub link and there is a two codes, example code and full code. So first we are going to use example code and I want to, I want you to guys just copy this example code. Just go to your terminal and here you need to create a new file. It doesn't matter whatever the, the file name you choose, just uh, write vi, for example, example ec2.yaml and then you have to paste the the code okay and then you have to type you have to paste the code and then you have to type wq to save that and then basically you can choose the file and then you have to use this file that you have created so before we proceed you can see we can view in a designer so what is that let's click on that and open a new tab so this will basically shows you so what the cloud formation is going to create in this example we are creating ec2 instance so now i'm going to show that here you can see we have a designer you can see the my ec2 instance so it shows that we are going to create a my my instance and if you don't see that then there must be some error in your code but hopefully you will see that now let's go back and here we want to click on next next we need to choose a name for the stack let's say demo stack ec2 ec2 and before that uh, i just forget to mention that you need to select the region that it should be us east one before you create a stack before we use a cloud formation make sure you select us east one otherwise you will get an error and you will not uh, you will not see that cloud formation will work so make sure you choose the us east one and then you have to proceed with this so now we choose the demo stack ec2 next we want to click on next and here we can provide tags for example any tag as just an example so let's say service ec2 if you want you can provide more tags up to as you can see 50 tags so next the you can also provide permissions so now in this example i just want to skip and use all the default configurations it's optional so let's click on next so here we can review the demo stack ec2 you can remove the, all the the details and basically we can submit this tag and create a cloud formation here as you can see now we have successfully created demo stack ec2 so here you can see the events so what's going on here as you can see the status shows that we are now creating a demo stack ec2 it's in creating progress status you will see more details soon if you refresh this as you can see it's creating progress it's creating my my instance so if you wait a bit and then if you go to ec2 i'm going to open a new tab 
So here in a new tab, I'm going to click on is instances. And here, as you can see, we have one instance running and you will see more details about it instance here. So using the cloud formation, we have just created EC2 instance. So if I go to, if I go back and here, if I click on template, as you can see, this shows the, the code that we have used it. And you can see the resources and the, the name of the instance is my instance. You can see the type is AWS EC2 instance. And you can see the properties, availability zone, image ID, and instance type. So if you go to events and click on this refresh button, you will see my instance create complete and demo stack EC2 is creating complete. So we have just successfully created instance using CloudFormation. Now you can also go to, for example, uh, update here, as you can see. Before that, I just want to show you the stack info. Here you will get all the details about this stack. You can see the status and you can see the tags and more information. So if you want to update this stack, you can basically here on the top, you can see right to the delete button, you will see the update. Let's click on that. In order to update, we can replace the template, okay? Just click on replace the current template and let's choose, let's just select the upload to template file. And here we need to choose a file. As you can see, I have another file, which is ec2 full.yaml. And in this code, I'm using the following full code in my GitHub that I have already mentioned it. So in this case, you need to go to your terminal. And again, you have to create another file, for example, full ec2 example.yaml and then you need to paste the the full code and then you have to come back here and then you have to select this ec2 full.yaml and you can also view in a designer let's open link in a new tab before we proceed let's just know what's going on here so if i see here you will see the, the designer here we have the resources as you can see my instance my elastic ip and ssh security group and server security group so if we go click on next and we have to provide the, the security group description so you just need to write for example demo security group and you can remove description, it doesn't matter. So let's click on next. And if you want, you can provide more text, but I just want to leave as it is and click on next. And here on the bottom, you just need to click on submit. And as you can see, it shows the status update in progress. If you keep refreshing that, you will see more updates. As you can see, it's now updating. So you can go to the template and here as you can see the template has changed to full code here we are using parameters resources and here we are using the analytic ip for our instance we have ec2 security group and we have a second ec2 security group and we have outputs so if we go to instances and if i refresh this page you see that it's now creating another instance at the same time it's now terminating the old instance if you wait a bit and keep refreshing that it will delete the old instance and it will create a new instance with a new template and this is the magic of cloud formation so just you just need to wait a bit and you will see that as you can see it's now shutting down the old instance and it's now running the new instance with a new template. So this is the how you can use the cloud formation as this is, was the, just an example. Now you need to delete this tag. So you just need to go to cloud formation. Let's go to navigation menu here and let's click on stacks. And here we have a demo stack EC2. So just let's just select that. And as you can see, it shows the delete option is not possible because you need to wait every, every time. 
I need to keep refreshing that. And now you can see the delete option is now possible. So you just need to select your stack and then click on delete. And let's cl just click on delete. And this will automatically delete all of your instances and your configurations. And that's all about it for this video. I hope this video was helpful. And if it was helpful, please don't forget to please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And I will see you in the next lectures.